Hello. Today is the first day of uh, August, uh, new month, and I am Jason Shapiro with Crowded Market Report. Today, coming from you from the New York Stock Exchange, which was not a great place to be today, especially if you're bullish. Um, look, bashing today, uh, and I guess concerning is the fact that this all happened on weak economic numbers. We are supposed to be of the belief that weak economic numbers will lead to a rate cut, and we are supposed to be of the belief that a rate cut will lead to assets going higher. Um, I've been of the opinion that we are in a bull market. I've still of that opinion. I've been of the opinion that it's not going to go straight up. I'm still of that opinion. And I have been of the opinion, weekly held, that uh, the closer we get to a rate cut, the more the market's going to go down because people want to sell that first rate cut. Um, and I don't believe that they're going to give them that chance. So they're going to have to sell before that first rate cut. And I got a feeling we might bottom on that first rate cut if that happens, if we go down right into it. But we have to see. Today, we're certainly a step towards that. Um, the good news today, I suppose, is as stuff gets liquidated, like today, the things that are most crowded move a lot. Um, the British pound, massively crowded long, had a massive down day today on news that didn't really justify that. Um, the Swiss franc had a big update today. We know that people are super short there still. So it went up a lot. The one place in the currencies that that is not working is the Canadian dollar, where people are massively short, and it keeps making new lows and getting weaker in the day. And that's a good, as far as I'm concerned, because I was stopped out of that long. So let it go lower. Let us give it a better chance to get in somewhere once we get a market confirmation, if and when. These things can take a long time. Um, lower rates. Metals went down because we're getting slow down. Silver in particular. Copper in particular, you know, um, not very good. But that is the place that we're at now. And uh, that's what I continue is going to keep th trying to happen. I was saying it a couple weeks ago. I didn't think picking the bottom was going to be easy for the next leg of the bull market. It certainly has not been easy. Yesterday, we had nothing but bullish action. Today, right from the get-go, nothing but bearish action. Interesting, I mentioned yesterday um, that despite rates going down a lot yesterday, the Russell tried to rally after the Fed and failed and actually closed a little lower than pre-Fed. And it doubted even worse. In retrospect, that was a pretty good sign to today. The Russell started off badly today. It was bad overnight, and it just got worse. And then everything went with it. Um, so, again, I think it's a patience game here. Patience, patience, patience. This is not the time to be playing the greedy game. All right. So. Those are my thoughts today. Hope you enjoy, and we will talk again soon. And here's one last shot of the famous New York Stock Exchange.